Hey everybody, Brett here, and we are out here on site for Outdoor Nation at the Panera FDF facility where we'll be walking you through a step-by-step -step installation process for the easy change frame made by Ackland. Right now we're in the process of beginning. We're inspecting the perimeter and the guys are starting the process, wiping it down and making our location markers and that kind of thing. a question a lot about the hole intervals we have holes at about every 15 inches pre-drilled in the frame use them and some people say well it doesn't need that many screws we can put them further apart it takes less time use the holes where they are and the reason is if you put screws let's say every four feet hold on just a second George let's say you put screws every four feet then this frame is designed to flex. It's designed to flex with different surfaces. If you have screws about four feet apart, you're gonna get some flex here on the frame that will eventually show up by the vinyl not being quite as tight. You'll get more vibration and more slack, which you don't want. So use the holes we have. That's an item number one. Item number two, you'll see where George just had the drill. George had the drill on, where was it? Here. Okay, this vertical line of rivets represents a post. You want to make sure you hit at least two posts in every length of frame. And the reason is, this metal here is typically flimsy, but the metal on the post does not move. So, even if we don't have a hole here pre-drilled, you're going to want to pre-drill that hole and then put your screw into the post. It's just a secure, safe way of doing it. Eliminates liability. So they're finishing the perimeter, which is the base plate. Screws in place all the way around. The perimeter. Just about to finish that up, put that corner together. And the next step is to unroll the vinyl. Man, that's a big salad. As our crew gets ready to hang the vinyl, I just want to tell you about it real quick. It's it's what we call our easy change tough side vinyl. It's a very durable 18 ounce material weight with all the best UV inhibitors and sun blockers. It's got a clear coat, a liquid laminate on top of the 18 ounce fabric and that's to help protect against tree branches and scuff resistance and also provide color longevity for the life of the material. Okay, we're getting ready to hang the vinyl. We want to pull the, the tape off. You want to pull uh, off on the top and the, about three feet on the side so you keep the vinyl straight. Now I'm going to eventually roll it. Underneath that is a two sided tape, and the reason we have it is so it holds the vinyl until we put the cap on. That way the vinyl's not moving. And you just want to line this vinyl with the top of the frame, not with the tape, but with the frame itself. And then go down the side two or three feet to help keep it straight and then just all the way down just keep it on the top of the frame don't overhang it because then um the cap won't go on right and then just press it down All right, now that we've got the vinyl hung, we've stretched it and adhered it all the way across the top. Now it comes to the bottom. Uh, real quick, people ask about the tape a lot. This tape is basically an installation aid. This yellow liner will come off. It's very, very tacky. It maintains its adhesion for life. Then we use that to stick the vinyl across and that's temporary. It holds it in place with no wrinkles until the top cap goes on. As soon as the top cap, which we call the cover plate, goes on, it will clamp everything together and tension the vinyl and the tape is then a non-factor. What holds it in place and provides durability at 70 mile an hour 
10 hours a day is the clamping mechanism with the two pieces of aluminum coming together. Now I want to introduce you to Fino. He is the foreman of foreman. He's been all over this country, done trucks in about 23 states, I think. And he's going to start the process uh, of, of uh, stretching the vinyl. Go ahead, take it. You want to pull the bottom tape off? Fino. So you want to pull the, this cover off? Then you want to make sure that you always start in the middle of the truck. If you start at one of the ends, you, you're going to get wrinkles. Always start in the middle of the truck and pull straight down. You don't have to pull real tight, just a little taunt, just to make it taunt and work to one side or the other. But never start on the ends. Always start in the, in the middle. All right. I'll go that way, you go that way? Sure. All right. Also, it doesn't take a lot of muscle. The, the vinyl has its own shape, and that's the shape we're going for, the original shape. Don't have to muscle it. It's mainly just get it taut, like Fino said, wrinkle-free, and work your way across. Okay, the bottom is now stretched all the way across. So then we go to the sides. And much like the bottom where you start in the middle and work your way to the corners, you do the same thing on the vertical sides. You start in the center and work your way down and then back to center and we'll work our way up. And then once that's done, because this vinyl is a little larger than the frame, we're gonna use the frame as a natural straight edge to trim all the way from top to bottom. And then it's time for the cover plate. One of the reasons that companies are transitioning to the media frame system with non-adhesive vinyl is not just that it's easy to change, but also that it's just the appearance. You don't see one rivet inside the graphic or one seam. Traditional wraps, while some of them look really nice, you still see every single seam in the metal, every single rivet, and sometimes there's thousands. We get away from that. You get one seamless, beautiful field of color, digitally printed, and so, See for yourself. Put the first top cap on. Set it on. We're going to line it up with the end of the base here. That way we know the corner is lined up down there. And you're set to go. As you can see, this is already tight, but our frame, one of our great claims to fame is the self-tensioning properties that it has. And so as the screw goes into the hole, goes down into the base plate, not into the truck, it clamps together and pulls the vinyl even tighter. You'll be able to see it right here. Watch here. It pulls down tight and provides about a half an inch more of tension than what there already was all the way around. So when this thing hits the road, there's no flickering, no movement, it's just tight. Cover plates are on, vinyl is tight, this side of the truck is done, food as it should be, frames as they should be, Voila!